Hey everyone, how we doing? Uh, it is <laughs> the Whopping Figs or Yeti Figs or whatever you may know us uh, at this point. Uh, as you know, my name is Ryan, and if you don't know, it's your first time here. I'm Ryan. Uh, and I'm Carolyn. Uh, so we also obviously are coming to you making a guinea pig video. We personally have uh, four guinea pigs. We have two of them with us right now. This is Wrigley. She is a white, obviously, Abyssian. Um, she is a handful and a half. She has the biggest personality of all of our pigs. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's definitely one of the cutest. Um, and this is Pickle. So they're all baseball related, which Pickle's a baseball term. If you get stuck in between two bases when you're trying to steal, like the term, I'm in a pickle. Um, and she just has been rescued a week ago. So she's a little, a little shy and uh, a little skittish. A yeah. little skittish. Um, but we are working on quarantining her and warming her up to our other pigs. Yeah, as you can tell, she's like got her feet out and she's just, she's just hanging out. She doesn't really know how to, how to be held. Uh, this one on the other hand, unfortunately we did we did shop before we adopted or rescued. And this is what came out of it. This one and her sister Natty, which we'll show you in a later video. Uh, but come, speaking of that, we have two other guinea pigs. We have a American satin named uh, Natty after the Cincinnati Reds. We're from the Midwest, obviously. Yeah. This is Wrigley, named after the Wrigley Field of the Cubs, and the Natties after the Reds. And then we're currently living in Houston, Texas, so our other rescue that was rescued uh, with this this little guy or little girl uh, is Astro, and she's a big chunky American guinea pig. She is a big chunky American pig. Uh, so speaking of that, also we have a TikTok which we'll link in the description, and an Instagram which we'll also link in the description. You guys can go check those out whenever you want. This one is being inquisitive. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah. So today's video, we want to come and introduce ourselves. Uh, if you are coming from TikTok, make sure you comment down below a little picture of a of a, of a guinea pig uh, from the emotes or emojis. Mm -hmm. um, if you're coming from Instagram, uh, put a little picture of the camera, like how they used to have like the, the Instagram logo. Uh, but welcome, welcome either way. And then, so like I said, the point of the video for today is just to, to go over some do's and don'ts, some first time guinea pig owner questions, some um, issues or mistakes that we made that we want to address for someone that's brand new getting their first guinea pig and so they don't make the same mistakes. So if you want to start us off. Yeah, so um, I got my first guinea pig, his name is um, or was Pogo when I was in the sixth grade after wanting a hamster and writing my parents a persuasive essay about how he was responsible enough <laughs> and then discovering through my small pet research that guinea pigs are actually one of the best companion animals um, ever and changed to that and uh, I had Pogo my sister had multiple guinea pigs growing up um, so that brings me to our first mistake was that I only had one guinea pig granted he was socialized with other guinea pigs in the house but they didn't live together um, and I, what we've noticed when we got Wrigley and Natty and now working on bonding our others in is that they do so much better as a group. Having at least two, the amount of energy I've seen has been so much more than what I saw um, from the guinea pig that I had growing up. And so that's definitely something to consider. Your costs don't actually go up that much. If you're getting a proper size cage, like the food and hay will be a little bit more expensive because you have two eating more, but your costs aren't going to double. Yeah, the only thing that you're going to have an issue with too is the cleanup is going to double. But if you're already taking care of them and you're cleaning up as should be with one, it's the same thing. There's just a second one. You're not getting a second cage. Just a little bit more poop to scoop. That's about it. Yeah, so um, that's the first tip. Try not to have one. There are lonely piggies. There are pigs that cannot be socialized. That, and that's very, I think like 5% of pigs that can't be. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense sometimes. But the majority of the time, if you're getting one, get them a friend. And try to get a same-sex pair. Uh, girls are easier to bond. Males need a little more space, a little more territorial. So that's why we have our four guinea gals. Right, yeah. So that's uh, that's the first tip. Like we said, is if you're gonna get one, get two, get a pair. Um, the second thing, the second tip we want to go over is the cage. So disclaimer: if you can't afford something, then you can't afford it. You can't make yourself buy something. But at the end of the day, the, the cage you're gonna get, you're going to want to get is a CNC cage. Uh, basically, they're gonna come with a bottom which is uh, what's, what's the bottom called? Coroplast. A coroplast bottom that's going to be in the shape of a rectangle mm -hmm. or a square depending on how small a cage you get. But then you're going to come with a bunch of grids and ways to assemble it. The point of that is there's no roof. Um, they don't feel like they're in prison 24-7 and then you're going to give a couple more benefits. Yeah, so they have a lot more room. So um, another mistake that I made in middle school was getting a typical pet store cage now i did eventually get two and like put them together so that my pogo had more room but pet store cages uh really aren't um she's sitting my hand <laughs> you smell the veggies um 
but they're really not the proper size for guinea pigs. They get zoomies and uh, they need a lot more space to run. Like think about rabbits in the wild, how they run. Guinea pigs like to run like that. So making sure they have enough space. Um, as well, CNC cages are with like fleece liners end up being a lot easier to take care of. And in reality, I think we spent about $100 on ours and we ended up spending like another 75 to get a loft. But for mm -hmm. the basic cage, it's $100 that our pet store cage that we got for two pigs was like $80. So it didn't end up being that much more expensive and it's been a lot healthier for our pigs. Also, um, so speaking of CNC cages, we are going to be linking any products that we use that we think are best. Uh, so we'll link where we got our cage, we'll link where we got our fleece liners, which as of right this minute, we are using Guinea Dad fleece liners. Uh, this is not an ad or a sponsor or anything like that. Just uh, we are using them because we just like the products. We like the little sacks mm -hmm. they can they can burrow in. Um, mm -hmm. On top of that, they're using your pretty much your, your regular things. A couple hides. Uh, we are using an Amazon hide as well that clips to the top of the CNC cage. Uh, but that's that's the big thing. That's that's the second tip is do not buy a pet store cage. Uh, if you cannot afford anything like that and you need to save up to get a CNC cage, we would rather you start off with a, a cheap one, a cheap pet store cage if you have to, but you ultimately you should be working towards a CNC cage. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the third tip, if you wanna. Okay, so the third thing is basically, just wanna go over like some frequently asked questions for first time guinea pig owners. And the number one that I saw a lot actually was, was the vacation thing. Um, uh, this is on like the guinea pig Reddit and everything like that, mm -hmm. but we, uh, I saw it and it was like, should I go on vacation with guinea pig? like that and you know the, the top responded answer mm -hmm. was you can uh for a day or two three days at most at a time you can leave them overnight mm -hmm. uh, anything beyond that needs to be because someone that you know coming to check in on them because well they eat a lot and they poop a lot and they drink a lot of water yeah um so that's sort of the, one of the big questions on there you can vacation but they need to have someone to help look after them and I can speak to that too because I had my guinea pig pogo for five years from when I was in sixth grade to when I was a junior in high school and my family went on vacation every year so find a neighbor uh you know i would always find neighbors who i knew had pets and you know kids like to make money and they, you know they're pretty responsible and i come and i'd show them and i'd pay them to come once or twice a day and check on my pigs make sure that you know they hadn't pooped everywhere they were doing okay um as well i know a lot of vets offices and there are some places where you can board them i've never done that personally mm -hmm. that's something we may have to do uh, living in Houston yeah. and having family in Indianapolis. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's something we may have to look into, but uh, they miss you and when you come back, they'll be all weaky and excited that you're home. That's what I always had with my Pogo. So, so the next thing that we, we do want to talk about is, is, it's not necessarily a tip, I guess, but it's like another thing that, that needs to be addressed a lot based on Reddit or um, just your typical general knowledge of a guinea pig. And that is how much work are they and what do they eat? Uh, Number one thing is any with any animal that you get, whether it be a guinea pig, a lizard, whatever, there's going to be work involved. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, the bright side is these things do poop really small amounts. The downside is it's a lot. Um, <laughs> so yes, there is a good bit of work that goes into them. I guess if I had to rate them on a scale of one to 10, I would give them like a six or a five. Um, but then you know, in comparison to that, like a dog would be like an eight because they are eight or nine because they have to be walked, they have to, they have to be cleaned up after if they use the restroom outside. Um, they have to have leashes, and their food's a lot more expensive than guinea pigs. Mm -hmm. uh, if they eat table food, it's a lot, lot more expensive than guinea, pig, than guinea pigs. So mm -hmm. uh, that's the next thing was was, the, was uh, how much work are they? And, and the truth be told, they are a little bit of work, but they're so worth it. When you bring in a bag of hay or a bag of vegetables, and they just start popcorning around like psychos, and um, squeaking and weaking and screaming to get fed it, it just makes it all worth it and super rewarding um, and so the next part we're going to talk about is going to be the guinea pig diet and yeah. I'm going to let Carolyn take this one and we're even going to show you guys a little salad of what we give our guinea pigs every day so hopefully you can start preparing something similar for yours yes and that was also a mistake that I made too so I had gone to the pet store and they're like oh they need hay and pellets and I just assumed it'd be like 50 50 no the majority of your guinea pigs diet should be hay um, for most juveniles and adults that's timothy hay uh, babies and nursing sows can have alfalfa hay but it should be mostly timothy hay it can be blended with other things but it should be majority timothy hay uh, right now we're feeding a timothy orchard glass orchard grass rather excuse me uh, blend because that's what they had at the store but they kind of pick out the timothy parts they prefer to eat that they pick out the parts they want yeah mm -hmm. well, you walk up and you'll see them standing on two legs just picking out the good parts of the hay yeah, yeah. 
Um, and then, so that should be like 75% of their diet. Another like 20%, 15-20% should be pellet food. Uh, so we feed a Timothy based pellet food that has um, supplemented with vitamin C because guinea pigs cannot produce their own vitamin C so you have to make sure you are providing it and so um, there are treats and stuff you can add it um, in all different ways but we prefer through pellet food and then vegetables fresh vegetables every day um, I would feed mine fresh vegetables every day but I would usually go with like a carrot or something uh -huh. which they can eat and they love carrots are like guinea pig chocolate um, but the majority of their veggies should be leafy greens, um, preferably dark leafy greens. We do feed romaine lettuce and stuff. The only one you should really avoid is like iceberg lettuce because it doesn't have any nutritional value for them. But no point. Um, I'll show you how we make a salad for them and hopefully you enjoy that. They'll definitely enjoy it. Absolutely, yeah. So the next thing we're gonna do is, um, we've introduced ourselves, we've introduced our guinea pigs. We just wanna show you them and show you a brief glance at our setup. Um, the, egg, the editing coming out might be a little shaky. It's my first time doing it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll show you guys our pigs and we'll show you our setup and then we'll go to our kitchen and we'll show you how we prepare uh, our guinea pig salads for our girls and then we'll wrap up the video. So uh, we'll see you guys in a few seconds. Bye. Hi everybody, these are our piggy salads. We have a big one for the three girls and this is for our quarantine pig. Um, they're getting parsley, which is this dark stuff right here, romaine lettuce, uh, spinach in the middle, and green bell pepper. This morning they had kale, cilantro and spinach so we're mixing it up some different greens and i'm excited to give these to our piggies mommy's got veggies mommy's got mommy's got snack mommy's got snack hi babies maddie it's over here pretty what are you doing goof it's over here astro hi everyone so this is our cnc cage over here we have the kitchen which is filled with all of their hay and there's bedding under there they do a lot of their business in the kitchen area we have a removable turtle hide that they can actually get into and get all snug um, we have a, a chewable tunnel that's from our liners uh, all their products come with hides like their packaging is hides, which is really cool we have two food bowls because they don't share very well <laughs> we're trying to get them all adjusted we have a hide over there uh, that they sleep in they also sleep in this little Amazon tent hide and in the corner they can go under the purple and then at night we switch out the turtle for this big old hide. Sometimes we can put hay up here. They love to climb it. And then over there we have Pickle in our old pet store cage uh, sitting in her hide munching on some lettuce. So hope you enjoy our setup and eventually we'll be adding a second story. So we'll be sure to keep you all updated on that. Hey guys, this has been our first ever YouTube video here. Uh, welcome to Yeti Pigs. If it's your first time on the channel, like we said, make sure you like, comment, uh, subscribe for more content. Down below, you'll find links to all of our socials, our TikTok, our Instagram, everything that we have. Uh, like we said, we appreciate you guys being here, and we hope to see you in the next one. Carolyn, you have anything to add? Um, I just hope that y'all give your piggies a little extra love from us today. <laughs> bye, guys. All right, bye.